In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to edit your ready-made delayed order button a video sales page. And it, it really is just, it really is simple, it just takes a few steps. First thing you want to do is pull up your HTML editor, or you can edit it in Notepad without an editor, and I'll show you that too. Uh, but it, sometimes it's just easier for people to use what's called a what you see is what you get editor. And I am using Trellian just for this example. Now I've already got it pulled up, but you know you can just go to File, Open, you know, browse your computer, you know, double click on the Sales Page and pull it up, or just click on it, then click Open, and then it pulls it right up in your editor. Or use this shortcut by clicking, uh, hitting this icon of the open folder to do the same thing. So I've got it pulled up, and step one is just adjusting the headline. So you know, I'll assume you've already got it written out. It's just a matter of highlighting everything and typing over it. Same goes for your subheadline. Highlight it, type over it, save it, you're done with that part. All right, step two, we want to adjust our timer as to when we want it to appear. Now to do that, of course, you want to know how long your video is and at what point in that video you want your you know, order button to appear. So perhaps when you're coming to a call to action in your video, that's when you want it to appear. So you know, just watch back your video, make a note of the time. You know, if it's three minutes in, then set your timer for three minutes. If it's five minutes, set it for five, what have you. So up to you, but that's the advice. So we want to go into the source code to do this, all right? So if we go into the source code, first thing we're going to see near the top is this script, okay? It's just before the closing head tag, okay? And you'll see one second equals 1,000. It's set for 5,000 by default when you get your template. So that means in five seconds, that timer uh, will go off and the image will appear you know, for the Buy Now button. So if one second is 1,000, you just do the math, change it right here. Next thing we want to do is come down to the bottom where you see this div style visibility hidden because in this tag is where you're going to make some changes. And what you're going to look for is this right here where it says order link here and just below that or it could be to the right of that uh, where it says src images add to cart cards.gif. If you want to keep the default add to cart button, you don't have to change this at all if you like that one. I'm including four either buy now or add to cart images you can use so you know to give you a little option so you can change it if you want all you have to do is you know look in your folder uh, your images folder and see what the name of that image is and just come in here and change it you know highlight keep it within the quotes don't you know erase or delete the quote and then just paste it in so you know some are ending in a jpeg extension instead of a gif so just pay attention to that and make sure that's included all right the other thing change your order link again it's just a matter of copying pasting always copy within the quotes uh, keep the quotes there and then paste it there. All right, so you've adjusted the timer, we've adjusted the headline, and the order link and the cards optional if you want to do that. Next thing you want to do is come back up to the top and change the page title. All right, so that's right there between the title tags. Highlight, uh, copy in or paste it in, whatever you want. Then make sure you save your work, and that's typically you know just a matter of coming up and clicking the save icon or going to the you know, file and save, etc. Now I'm back in editing mode to show you that, you know, I've included the insert video here. So with your video code, you'll just click between the words. This is how I do it. I click between the words and then I'll go back uh, to my source code and then I'll see the cursor flashing right where I clicked in the editing mode and it's right here. Of course, you know, otherwise you don't have to use the cursor method. I just do that out of habit. You can always come in here and just look for insert video here and then highlight it and then paste your, you know, right click and paste or control V will do the same thing, you know, pasting your video embed code. Um, and then again, just save it and you're all set. I've already kind of got the breaks before and after the video for the right spacing. You can always adjust that by going back into the editor mode if you want. Uh, you know, by clicking where your video is and hitting delete or enter, you know, to create a space if you need it. So, but anyway, that's how you get your video inserted just by following those simple steps right there. Now, here's how to edit in Notepad without even having to, you know, go through the HTML editor option. 
when you open your folder where your sales page is, you know, you click it or right click and then open with and then choose Notepad. Now, if Notepad is not in your open with, you know, selection or options, you can go to start all programs, you know, accessories and then find Notepad there. So, you know, I'll assume that you do have it in your open with for now, so I'll click on that and it really brings up the exact same thing that we saw in our source code option in the HTML editor brings us you know to the code and you can just make your changes right here and then click file and save and you do the exact same thing you know make sure you change your just look for the you know page title at the top right here is the time you want to change or edit you know to set your timer and then you scroll down and change your buy link and your graphic if you want to change that again just go you know up to file and save does the exact same thing and your sales page is ready to go and of course you know you can find your headline text in here as well you know just delete it type over it save you're done